so guys this is the photo which we gonna edit so first of all we'll select the photo with the help of quick selection tool and just roll all over the subject's body or the model's body to make the you know se selection in a proper way you can also use the pen tool to select in a very very precise way here i have already made a selection now i'll show you how to you know make a selection in the hair region so just right click on it and select select and mask option make sure to select the second brush tool and just roll on the you know hairs or the edges of the hairs of the model so that it would be selected in a proper way so this is how you have to you know select the hairs of any girl or any kind of you know model this is the very important thing in editing that if you want to select see select the hairs then you have to use the refine edge tool in photoshop cs6 and select and mask option in photoshop cc now just right click on it and select leave a copy or directly press ctrl j from the keyboard to make a duplication of the object or the subject so you can see here uh, we have done our process now we're gonna add add this background to the photo so just drag and drop over here go to the edit select the free transform press shift and alt key to enlarge the background image now we will just place it place the background according to your you know convenient where it suits the most you can just place that in that position so here it is looking kind of cool so first of all press ctrl or command l from the keyboard to make it look more darker so we will just press ctrl l and on the subject layer and just make it more you know enhanced and more darker so you can see that if I here is the before and here is the after now just hit ok now we will do the same process on the background layer also just turn the you know from left to right and just add a little bit of and you can see the difference just from the middle screen also you can see the difference it is really looking now now you can see that it is actually merging it with the you know model image to both background as well as foreground now select the bro, uh, you know blur tool and make sure to the strength is 100% and select the soft run brush and just paint the you know hairs of the model so that it may not look unrealistic so we're gonna just right click on it and select the create new uh, create clipping mask select the brush tool and pick the color with the help of alt key and just paint with with uh, it with the uh, no, nearest color so this is how you have to paint the hairs Now just merge with the bottom layer or the subject layer. Now select the you know eraser tool and just remove unwanted hairs from the image. Select the move tool. Now just merge both the layers. Before merging, we're gonna add some more you know foreground foreground thing. So the very first thing we're gonna do is before cropping the image let's uh, add some in the foreground so just duplicate it the subject layer by pressing ctrl j flip it horizontal way or you know rotate it in a clockwise now just place this over here Now go to the filter, select the blur and select the Gaussian blur and just make the blur to around 30 or 45 or something like that. Now just place it over here, enlarge it. Now just place it on the foreground near the you know, legs 
or uh, it should be looking like you have captured from somewhere far region so we gonna just place this over here let's press ctrl j and place it somewhere over here one more time on the right screen just a little bit would be pretty much perfect otherwise it is not needed not needed it is totally up to you if you want to add you can always add otherwise it's cool <coughs> but here i'll just add a little bit Now here we have almost done our process now select the crop tool and just crop the image Now we gonna just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layer with the help of filter Go to the camera filter and we gonna adjust the color effect first of all go to the vignette tab And let's add a vignette to the photo a little bit You can guys also use my you know preset which I have already given you from the links in the description Or you can just download from our website there are lots of presets so you can directly apply the preset also or you can do manually the color effect so don't add too much of teal and orange just add a little bit of and because we want to create a very realistic and amazing tone so you have to maintain the perfection and the naturalism of the photo now make sure to get the perfect skin tone you know that is the key point of our editing so go to the hue and select the orange and red tone and just make a perfect skin tone now here from the aqua just make sure to get that uh, tint of that you know what do you say teal color and just make a blue tone Now let's reduce some little bit of red saturation Also the orange color Now now we're gonna reduce the highlights from the image You can see the difference it is actually making the photo to look amazing So reduce some kind of highlights And just pump up the little bit of shadows if you want And just reduce the whiteness a little bit or let's increase the just decrease the blackness add a clarity to the photo a little bit increase the vibrance and decrease the saturation now go to the split toning and we're gonna just add a little bit of you know yellow is tint of the highlights yellow is red color highlights add a saturation to a little bit and if the shadows are needed you can add the blue color shadow otherwise it is pretty much perfect just add a little bit of saturation to it so guys you can see it is really looking very very amazing guys so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed then just press the like button so that it will motivate me to make more videos and preset like this for you guys for free now let's create new layer and select the brush tool and just make uh, you know lens glare flare of the image with the help of the you know, sun like the sun is the sun rays are coming from the below so just select the paint with this orange color and just change the blending mode to screen and just place it from somewhere on the top of the screen to get that perfect you know that the color which actually makes it look more amazing now we're gonna add the white color and just make a one brush of that stroke and just place it somewhere over here now you can see guys it is really looking very very amazing so guys you can see it is really amazing and guys you can just download the preset in the form of mobile lightroom camera preset and you know pc lightroom and loots and many more you know 
photo editing as well as video editing stuff just for free from our website so guys go and check it out that website so you can see the difference guys it is really looking amazing here's the before and here is the after as a website is ashwirgorishans.com and guys we gonna launch soon the second website that is filterbrisset.com and also guys follow us on instagram just type ashwirgorishans till then guys be creative and be awesome and don't forget to guys press the like button on this video so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video